Time. St. James's Place, Canary Wharf Classic 2020. Quarter final match. Mohamed El Shabagi of Egypt to serve. Surav Gosal of India to receive. Best of three games. Level. The beast of Alexandra Mohamed El Shabagi kicking off this second quarter final match to see who will take on. Current world champ, Tarek Moment. Well, you've got Sorry, your first so. prediction right, Parky. Who are you out. going for for this one? one love. Still Mohamed Al Shabagi. As I said at the beginning, I think um, I think Sura's gonna gonna take him very, very close. It's gonna be he goes to the wire. But I do think it's gonna be Shabagi coming through. Those two wins, incidentally, were a long, long time ago for Surav Gozal, 13 or 12 years ago. Two love. Both in India, when Shibagi was just coming up the ranks. So it's been since 2008, it's 2008 that uh, Gozal got his last win. Certainly a best start possible for Gozal, the Indian number one. Does he have the belief? Played turret when he played Mohammed Al Shabagi in the World Championships. Tarek moment. He was, uh, sorry, sorry, I'm close. Or he was um, pretty passive, to be honest. Since then, they had the uh, five setter in St George's Hill. Just immediately no after that World Championship, it was a much better performance. No review, Shabagi on the no let. It goes on 12 10 in the fifth. Shabagi coming through. I think I'd give a lap because it was kind of moved sort of into the shot a little bit. Yes, so lad, decision overall. El Shabagi has one review remaining. One three. Simple. Simple. Very simple decision. Just the last. The ball, the, the ball came back, but I felt that you, your first movement was towards him. Okay. I want one you to go and get the ball. So why the One three. So why the Play on. Okay. Giving you an explanation. Thank you. Again, good man management from Jason Foster. There. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, Mohamed Al Shabagi knows he's a policeman.
Sorry, <laughs> Molly, cross court. Absolutely unbelievable, this. Like an arrow. Yeah, it was. Straight lob there from Shibagi. Just getting himself out, out of trouble. Heavy on that drop shot from Gozel. Long rally this, one of the longest so far. Yeah, it's great quality though, isn't it? Every ball that's going to the back's bouncing way behind that service box area. Really good attention to detail. Yeah, a lot of purpose in the hitting from both players. There's some purpose in that boast, Joey. You know what I liked about that was Three predominantly more. everything was being hit to the back of the court. So if we see where uh, Sirab Gosal is, no matter how quick, very, very deep in the back of the court. Clever shot selection from Shibagi. So pinning back that very early lead from the Mongoose. How's he done that? Not quite sure, Joey. Really enjoying this back and forth. Yeah, it's quite a different uh, game to the last one, isn't it? Very different styles. A bit different to the other best of threes that we've seen this week, too. A bit more cagey. It is, but the ball's been moved around so it's not like it's all just it's far from all being hit to the back of the court. Oh, Knowledge by Shabagi. He read that boast. He wasn't going to get caught. And out. The difference between four, three. The boast. There's the one where he stumbles. He plays that on his knees. How does he do it? And then there it is. I mean that's unbelievable. It's like a knee slide. Great improvisation, yeah. wasn't it? Helps when you are body type and size of Surab Gosal. I wouldn't see Mossad getting up as quick as that. <laughs> Five, or three. What I was trying to say is going back to that Bose scenario where Shabagi a couple of rallies before played it where he's deep in the backcourt won the rally that time round his shot selection Surab Gosal was a lot higher on the tee therefore getting to the ball quickly and being quite dangerous with his deception. Yeah it was the wrong shot wasn't it from Shabagi actually. <laughs> Somebody, I love this, brilliant. That's what I love. I think they should be able to make noise during the rally anyway. I really do. There's some news and ours. Some, there's, uh, that wasn't, wasn't that lady, that's Stephen Line's uh, wife, the better, very much better part of the Line duo. But uh, yeah, I say her husband's birthday today, 62. Doesn't look a day older than 70. He's got a lovely seat. The husband's literally on his knees in the uh, corner of the squash court there. 
taking photos of the players. Quite right, Joey. At least he's got the black beanie on. Yeah, it took a while to, for him to go down that route. He was uh, slightly bareheaded and it used to shine a lot. Oh, great finish. I mean, the yeah. first fist bump there's of the There's a lot evening. of fist bumping going oh, on, yeah. isn't it? Oh. Oh. Mid-stage of the first, and there's a lot of fist clenching and pumping. I feel like we're in a tennis match. Six-five. Well, another one, another shout of come on! Just like that, keeping himself motivated. Tommy Cooper. Sorry, keep calling him Tarek Movin. Third all. time now. No fist bump from Surab Gosal. Both diminutive, both very skillful. The finishing of uh, all four players, the first match as well, there he is, that's Stephen Lyon. Happy birthday. Being as professional as ever. He's been taking squash photos since the the early 80s, I believe. It was 1981. Down. Ah. And out, 7-6. Just feel Shabaggy's to uh, have that extra bit of experience and confidence, I feel, at this stage. That extra bit of oomph. Very well to <laughs> Shabaggy's. Oh, wow. He's, He's got, got it. it. He's going to get that as well. This is ridiculous. Oh, oh what a rally. What a rally. Shabaggy and was now. literally going around the court Seven like a T Rex on nitric oxide. That was outrageous. Pounding around. The court was shaking. The heavy movements, but it, goodness me, he was getting himself around. Look at the strength on that one. And this was so impressive. And look at the, the finish. The slide finish. Well done, though, to go so for keeping his cool. This is really impressive. It's a wonderful touch from Gosal on that backhand side. Oh, how's he turned that round? He's walloped it, and he's done it again. He's going for it here, Shabaggy. Down. Oh. Just getting better and better. The quality's going up as we go into the latter stage of this first park. Eight, seven. Yeah, it's uh, really lighting up this venue here at Canary Wharf. Both players giving absolutely everything. The crowd really appreciating the quality and the effort. Well, I wouldn't expect that slightly rash cross-court nick attempt after those last couple of rallies, but... Surav Gosal regains the lead. He hasn't had a lead since three love in the first. We're still in the first, and he's Top of the tin. He and wasn't out. far away. 
Subaghi had already committed a massive lunge in the response to that one. It was getting very, very short. He kind of just dinked it in. Can he keep his nerve? That's the big question for Surab Ghost. Yeah, loving it. You can see those chaps really enjoying. So two game balls for Surab Gosal. The Mongoose got so close last year in St George's. Oh, Shabagi. And out. Beasting onto that Nine, one, ten. just using whatever he could. Game it was all about just getting on the ball early. It didn't look pretty, but it was just very early. Shabagi's on the hunt here. Very quick. Im no let. Well, the no let being given. Shabagi with his all arms and legs, wasn't he? Anything to get a racket so on that. must win by two points. No complaint for Gozo. You can hear the, the screaming from Shabagi of come on. I mean, this is what I mean about that. I mean, he's, he's done that so well. He hasn't done anything wrong there. But this is where Surav Gosal for me, just senses the aggression of Shabagi. And I just feel he, he actually backs off rather than actually trying to go nose to nose and chest to chest yeah I think I think you could be right could have maybe pushed his way through a bit more there on that shot even. I think so I mean the outward aggression is very evident from Shibagi. and this is where Surab Gosal needs to really push up and stay you know with him just a bit passive better width Him, you see, he just can't get past him. Do you what know what shot. I mean? There, there, though, it's, it's very 10. evident for me. He's got the shouting of Shibagi because Gable. he's motivating himself, keeping the adrenaline going, and he senses that that it kind of makes it kind of slightly intimidates Surav Gosal. But Gosal was just happy to just drift behind him and then didn't really move. And when you're looking at one of the quickest players on the PSA World Tour, and this is all mental here from Surav Gosal. Last few points, that's what he's done. He's stepped back a bit. So well initially. Yeah. Well, that was a great shot. So and out. Great to see him have a bite at the beast, eh? Yeah. You know, come so back and give him a bit of a nip. Gozal. He's got to convert this, surely. He's got to try and convert this. He's got to take advantage of this error. I can't believe he's made the error there. He can't believe it, obviously. Technically, lots of uh, upper, boot, uh, upper body movement. Oh, he's done it. So Surav Gosal has actually stood up tall. One game to love. The back end of this first when 
The aggression was very evident on the shots, not towards Surad, but on the shots from Mohamed El Shabagi. 20 minutes, an unbelievable high-quality first game. Brilliant. It's Gosal that needs one game to love.